What's up, my beardos and weirdos? One topic here, hiding slightly behind the microphone shadow. Joined by... Human One. Hi. Uh, hello. I already knew you were here, but hi. Uh, hi, it's, it's me. <laughs> Do you know what we're diving into today? No. We're looking at r slash trans. <laughs> it was recently Trans Visibility Day, and I wanted to dive into the subreddit again. I didn't have one ready for the day of, but maybe next year. <laughs> Yeah, and the beauty of the day is that it happens every year, the so... The beauty of the day. The beauty, the beauty of the day. <laughs> All right, let's get started. <laughs> I have bottom dysphoria. God stole my penis, and I'm on a quest to retrieve it. <laughs> oh, oh, I Super like that metal. a lot. I yeah. like that so much. Oh, it's so good. That's such a good way to look at it. <laughs> LGBT. Lettuce, guacamole, bacon, tomato. Oh! I'm a tomato! <laughs> More like, I'm a tomato! I'm a tomato! <laughs> I'm a tomato? I'm a tomato! I'm a tomato! That's just me. I'm getting closer. That's I like just it. Me going. You got a good voice. You got a good tomato voice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's what I've always wanted to hear. <laughs> Trans rights are human rights. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Aww. Rhett and Link. <laughs> Do you know Rhett and Link? No. Good mythical morning! Ah, <laughs> oh, they're cool dudes. Okay. That's all. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> But cool dudes. Cool dudes. Mm -hmm. I'm not trans. I just started taking female hormones and legally changed my name and gender because I'm a really supportive ally. <laughs> <coughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Let me have a try. <clears throat> well, I've done all I can do. I'm Patrick. <laughs> One little down vote. Oh, when you see transphobia on the front page. Aw, oh, Patrick. Aw. Oh. Good effort, man. Good effort, you starfish. <laughs> I support the LGBTQ plus community. Got this name so no one can can abuse it. Oh! Oh. Not all heroes wear capes. Good on you. <laughs> we ran out of thumbs. <laughs> I need to start researching vaginal plasties. Gotta find the best doctor to do it and figure out when I can do it. This makes me sad because you have a cute nose already. <laughs> All right, all right. You hold them, Toby, on the telly. Um, when you get your vaginoplasty, don't let them touch your nose. <laughs> the doctor walks in. I got your nose. <laughs> all right, now that I've got your nose, let's start your vaginoplasty. <laughs> oh, what is such a cute nose? Oh, <laughs> testosterone, testosterone. <laughs> That reminds me of a video I did recently. Decreasingly verbose. Yep, should watch it. <laughs> it's a good one. It is good, I liked mm -hmm. it. Me, getting gendered correctly by a stranger. <laughs> oh no, that's my daughter. She just has short hair, ha ha. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Be good to your kids. <laughs> listen to your kids. Listen to your kids. Yeah. Be good to your kids, listen to your kids. My mom trying to explain what tucking is after seeing it on a drag queen show. Me pretending to not know what it means. Ah, yes, mother. Ah, oh, that's very, that's very interesting. Mm, tell this me is more. Brand new ah, information. I did not know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the mom is trying though. I appreciate that. I appreciate parents that uh, even if they're getting it wrong and they're doing dumbs, if they're trying, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I love this picture so much because because <laughs> they're like, okay. if you're gay, we accept you. If you're trans, we accept you. But if you bring a phone in here, you're gone. <laughs> you are done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yeah. 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 Cis people. Trans people have bizarre ideas about gender. Also cis people. Men are like waffles. Women are like spaghetti. <laughs> and if you haven't become a thick waffle yet, <laughs> make sure to check me out on Twitch. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> Join the Waffle House. <laughs> mm, mm. I don't get The it. women are spaghetti. Why are women spaghetti? Why are, why are the women the noodles? They're all delicious. Oh. 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 High five. They're all delicious. Oh. Eat them all. <laughs> no, 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 stop! We should split bathrooms by pee versus poop instead of men versus women. <laughs> yeah. 
I specifically put this in here for you because of your humor. <laughs> I was like, it would cut down on time a lot for a certain lineup. Like the pee lineup go by so fast. This is horrifying. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want a whole bathroom devoted to pooping. <laughs> Maybe like pooping and aeration. Just like a bunch of fans constantly going. Yeah, there'd be a lot of air fresheners. <laughs> Genders exist. Trans people. I intend to switch. <laughs> I like that. That's I like cute. that a lot. Yeah. I wish, okay, a few years ago, there was an idea to make a modular cell phone where people could just clip on the bits that they wanted. Like, you could clip on a bigger battery, clip on a bigger camera. Wouldn't it be great if people were like that? You could just, like, switch <laughs> out bits and parts. The new Marvel superheroes suck. Trans people. Transphobs. Transphobs. <laughs> oh. MTFs. The elderly. Being excited about their new hips. Because <laughs> they get the, and they, because you, and then, right? Because uh, you get like the metal ones, but then, but then the also, but then also, yeah. When, when the elderly get new hips, it's like, you become part cyborg. And then, you know, when you get new hips or new hips, <laughs> you get a hip. <laughs> you get a hip and you, you get, get a hip, hip and you get a hip and you get less hips and you get a hip. <laughs> Old substitute teacher. Calls me a young man, making me really happy. Some ass kid in the back. She's a she! Old sub. Oh, okay, my bad. Me on the inside. F you, random student! <laughs> 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 oh, this was such a good movie. But also that sentiment. Just speak a little bit less for other people and speak for yourselves. I, I think we'd all do that. Yeah, mind your business. Mind your business. <laughs> treat yourself. Mind your business and treat yourself. <laughs> if your penis was a movie, which movie would it be? Inside Out. What? Uh, 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 wait! Wh what? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? <laughs> what would what the name of... If your penis was a movie, what name would it be? <laughs> what, what would you pick? I'll have to think about it. Tropic Thunder! <laughs> Titanic. Uh, oh. Titan AE. Avatar? Oh, there's a lot of outtakes in this. Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> High five. <laughs> Good morning, boys and girls. Today's lesson is on respect and understanding. You shouldn't just say boys and girls. Yeah, not everyone fits neatly into those two categories. Maybe call us students or people. <laughs> mm -hmm. How was school today? <laughs> Great, I'm learning so many new things. <laughs> you look so excited. I love boomers that just accept people for being people. Yeah. Those are best boomers. BBs. Those are double Bs in my mind. Best boomers. Double BBs. <laughs> Positive BBs. Positive BBs. Aww. You can choose to pay for expensive treatment or die. I'll die. Sounds good. Have a nice day. You too. <laughs> uh. I wish everyone could just get what they want. Laura Ingram Guest says that trans people will destroy gender norms to create new species, human and part machine. Part machine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I think Laura Ingram's a little afraid, or maybe her guest is a little afraid of uh, Terminator? They both start with T. I can see why someone with a limited education might confuse the two. But trans folk and Terminators? But really, though? Really? <laughs> Your gender isn't on your passport in New Horizons, but your native fruit is. Nintendo knows what really matters. Gender is malleable. Fruit is permanent. <laughs> yeah, gender, you can change it any time, but you only one fruit. <laughs> fruit forever. It's kind of sweet, actually. <laughs> I don't want to be a mango anymore. I want to be a papaya. <laughs> That's so sweet. I actually really like some of the changes Nintendo's been making lately. Nintendo gets a little high five from me. We're sitting next to each other. How is this hap- How? Oh! Oh! We almost had it. Alright. Yay! <laughs> You're bad at high fives. <laughs> You're bad at high fives. No. Using one of my genie wishes to give every trans person the body they really want when they wake up the next day and eagerly awaiting the world getting overrun with gender f <laughs> socialist demon furries robots giant robots drones chimera fang. <laughs> This went from 1 to 100 very quickly. <laughs> dab on- dab on the haters. D dab on the- dab on the socialist demons. Dab- dab on the robots. Did you dab on the robots? No, I did not dab on the robots. Do it again, do it again. No. <laughs> Non-binary people exist. 
Marvel. How do you do, fellow queers? <laughs> oh, I love Steve Buscemi. Was that a good Steve Buscemi impression? <laughs> uh, I, I'm very proud of you. <laughs> How do you do, fellow queers? Oh, oh dear Marvel. But also, it's, it kind of seemed like they, had, they were kind of lackluster in their ideas, where there was like, Captain Backpack! And Internet Gas Man! He can Google anything at any time! Oh, oh that's right! <laughs> right? That's right! Oh, wouldn't it be cool if we just named them a specific thing and had very representative colors? That's enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, repre yeah that's this is representation. <laughs> we're hitting that surface. <laughs> Talking about gender with trans people. Ah, yes, the great philosophers through time. Philosophical conversation. Ah, the things we shall learn about. The moon and ah, yes. stars. Ah, the moon and stars. Talking about gender with cis people. Why are we both doing baby voices? You should probably do the mom voice right about now. Oh, well, you gotta start somewhere, I guess. At least, I mean, if this analogy, if we follow along with the logic of this, kids grow up one day. So, yeah, you just keep on it. You keep speen food, sp speen fooding. Speen fooding keep them. speen fooding that information to those babies, and they'll grow up better. <laughs> we all start somewhere, fam. <laughs> speen fooding. <laughs> Two years HRT. Oh, mama. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, mama. Hoo ha. <laughs> Thanks, Human One. Do you know what show this was? Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo! Yeah. Yes! Even though I mentioned I had 10 pounds of skin removed, I saw someone assumed my surgery was trans-related. I like that this person thought I had a 10-pound monster ca <laughs> uh, oh. oh. Wow, that person really thought they'd be packing. They went there. <laughs> Green m and trans? Really proud of her. She came a long way. She's hot. Um, and if you say that's not the same M&M, &M, they're different shapes. I personally assure you, you can have nuts removed. <laughs> <laughs> Reblog to make a transphobe uncomfortable eating M&Ms. I told my parents I wanted to change my name. They got mad at me, made fun of me, and told me they'd never call me by that. And I'm cis. I can't imagine how much worse it stings for trans people. Hmm. Eventually, you grow up old enough that you can leave the home. And it's a lot easier to establish what footing your relationship is going to be on with your parents once you're able to do that. If you're living in your home, there's very much a top-down, angled relationship. But once you leave the home, you can have a much more peer-to-peer -peer relationship. See this? See this? This is no good. You see how human ones pushed out of the way? <laughs> but the peer-to-peer -peer relationship is much better. Just be you. Try to find happiness where you can. And if changes can only happen slowly and incrementally over time, you can get through it. I believe in you. Trans kids everywhere are pogging so hard, right? What is pogging? I was gonna ask you. You can choose your style. You can change it later. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Hey. I like that. I've actually had both those hairstyles. <laughs> <laughs> I shown you the other day what my hair looks like when it's tied up. Yes. Yeah, it's a teeny tiny bun. No, it's a, it's a, it's a teeny, top tiny, knot. Tiny it's bun. a top knot. What are you... Fun. It's a... Whoa, that's... <laughs> Maybe this was a bad idea. All right, I'm putting the hat back on. Oh God, <laughs> what have we done? Hair reveal. Nope, nope. Hair this reveal. is better. This is better. Okay, it's for the best. It's, it's for the. For the it's best. for the best. We'll get through this together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you want to have long hair, short hair, go for it. Just be confident. No matter what you do, the most amazing thing is the way that fashion evolves over time, and the things that are most extravagant and out there for some people's perspectives are very normal for other people's. And the more normal you have it for yourself, the more normal people will see it as well. So if you want to have long hair and you feel like that's very normal for you, go for it. People will get used to it. People will change. You just keep being you. Don't be afraid to do that. Discrimination has no place in our society. I am proud to display this flag as a symbol of my support for the transgender people across this country. We must stand with transgender people in all of our communities. I am Bernie Sanders, and I'm pretty cool. <laughs> I like how Bernie Sanders, like his entire career, has been fighting for the rights of all people, and people are like just now realizing it more in the mainstream that he's actually a pretty cool dude. Yeah. I like Bernie a lot. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do the voice a lot, too. Bernie Sanders? Yeah. <laughs> satire is meant to ridicule power. If you are laughing at people who are hurting, it's not satire. It's bullying. Terry Pratchett. 
Do you know what Terry Pratchett is? Good Omens. <laughs> Discworld. Good Omens. <laughs> I like Terry Pratchett. No, but he's a good author. Mm. Yeah. People get built different. We don't need to figure it out. We just need to respect it. You sound like Princess Bubblegum a little bit. I actually haven't seen. You haven't seen Adventure Time? Adventure oh! Time. I know. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. No, I don't In know. New York. <laughs> I think trans people should get thrown transition showers like brides and pregnant people get. All your friends come over to celebrate this big moment in your life, give you things you'll need to start living your true gender, and just have a big party. Can we make that a thing? Aww. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, yeah. I like that a lot better than, Oh my god, let's pop a balloon and oh, see what yeah. color it is. <laughs> <laughs> what point is that? It, it benefits no one. It benefits no one. Especially not the person, the little tiny person that comes out of you. Hell, heck, heck no. Almost swore. Heck no. Having this kind of shower, that would be amazing. I think it would be more meaningful than baby reveals. Baby reveal! <laughs> than BB reveal shows. I, I shall reveal to you that I am pregnant! <laughs> baby reveal! Oh, sorry, gender, <laughs> gender reveal! <laughs> Will you press the button? You become rich, but you become the opposite gender as well. <laughs> <laughs> How would you... I, I've already answered this question in a previous video. How would you uh, address this? What would you do? Okay. Yeah, right? I'd press the... I, in a heartbeat. I'd be like, BAM! As long as I still get to be tall, that's fine. If I could be a tall gal, that's I don't cool. Mind. Yeah, you could be a short guy. I'd be a we short just guy. Swap. Yeah, yeah. Just swap, and then we have all the money. Would you still date me if I was tall? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah. As long as you treat me nice. <laughs> yeah, right. Let's go on dates sometimes. <laughs> I'm cool with that. <laughs> when you accidentally misgender yourself. Trust nobody, not even yourself. Aww. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> When I was a child, I thought girls could have penises, and then I realized I was wrong, and then I realized I was right all along. <laughs> a beautiful poem. <laughs> yeah. We support our beardos and weirdos out there. I am starting estrogen in two weeks. T minus 14 days. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> this Pride Month, let's never forget that Klingon said trans rights. Kershon, my beloved old friend. I'm Jadzia now. Jadzia, my beloved old friend. No hostility, no confusion, no clumsy excuse-filled justification, just a quick self-correction and the exact same amount of love and respect before and after. Says allies, be like Kor. <laughs> Aww, I like it. Yeah, me too. Says people, if you do not acknowledge our names and our pronouns, you are bringing shame on the Empire, and I will personally end you with a batleth. Or I am Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't fit, maybe you haven't found the right puzzle yet. Ah, Right? So much of life is like that. Yes. You can find it in school, you can find it in your family, you can find it in coworkers. It's just a lot of places are, are a bunch of weirdly shaped puzzles. And you know what? You know what those ones at the top left are? A bunch of squares. <laughs> 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 it's way more interesting not being a square. So what is gender dysphoria? A state of unease or generalized dissatisfaction with life. The opposite of euphoria. <sighs> oh. oh, it looks so sad. It looks like it's leaning over. You're still good, tomato ketchup. No matter what kind of bottle you're in. It's very, it's very supportive of you. Live your life. Yeah, no matter what shape bottle you are born into, as long as you find a way to be happy with it. Mm -hmm. Or, if you have the option, change it. Change it. Yeah. Get the bottle you want. Just whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Do that. When you accidentally come out as trans on April 1st instead of March 31st. Oh. Oh. That sounds like a real story. Yeah. Mm. All right, my beardos and weirdos. This was a dive back in r slash trans. One of my absolute favorite subreddits. I love it so much, and I'm so glad I could be joined by a human one who is slowly, slowly ducking out of frame oh, over time throughout the video. <laughs> and if you didn't notice, lean to the side, lean to the side. We got matching chairs. Hey. Yay. We're sharing, we're sharing an office space because of the dust that's in the air currently, so uh, be prepared for Human 1 to be in more videos if I can talk her into it, and if you leave enough comments saying, yay, Human 1, please come back into the videos, we miss you, one topic all on its own is not good enough for us, we need Human 1 too. <laughs> well, I don't think, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, my beardos and weirdos, we'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's filming. There's no way to know if we're perfect or not. Are we perfect? I don't want to slouch for this whole video, but it's kind of hard to keep us both in frame. This is just...
I'm sitting up straight. Well, You're sitting, sitting up straight? I'm or sitting well, up no. pretty straight. Right I'm now. sitting up mostly straight. Yeah, I'm slouching so we can keep both of us in frame. <laughs> Let's try to let's try to get our chairs to not wiggle their butts so much because they're squeaking a lot. There, you're good there. You're good there. There. Ah, oh, perfect. Yay, and heights are good. You're so tall. Never mind. 